Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business. Hey guys, Basil here with BTEC. These are two Huawei flagship type devices that clock in at 5.5 inches, but pack a few key differences. I've got the Mate S and I've got the P9 Plus. P9 Plus was just announced today with its cool Leica dual camera setup. The Mate S was announced at EFA with an AMOLED display, super bright, super vibrant, super beautiful. But how do they stack up? Side by side, I actually prefer the Huawei Mate S. It's got a curvaceous backing. It feels really, really rich in the hand, comfortable metal, flat sides for good grippability, if that's even a word. Down at the base you can see grills, 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 grills where you can find the loudspeaker. You've also got a micro USB for charging. Left hand side is where you've got a three point, uh, sorry, a micro SD card slot and a SIM card slot as well. Right hand side you've got all the buttons, that's the power button, volume buttons. Up at the top 3.5mm jack, around the back is that camera, optical image stabilized, NFC contact point and that intelligent fingerprint scanner that lets you pull down your notification stroke. Putting that down for a sec and onto the P9 Plus. Also a 5.5 inch display, but it's an IPS panel. So not as bright, not as vibrant, not as punchy, not as saturated. And that could be a good thing because the Mate S is incredibly saturated, almost too much so. Above the screen, you have an autofocus loading camera. Um, you have power button volume rocker on the right hand side, down at the base USB C, a loudspeaker, 3.5mm jack. Left hand side is where you've got the micro SD card slot and a SIM card slot. Up at the top, infrared blaster. This thing is a TV remote control. Around the back of that dual 12 megapixel camera setup, you've got a dual tone flash as well, and another super smart fingerprint scanner that lets you control everything on your phone. Right, side by side, they are different. Flat, curvaceous kind of 2d glass across both of the fronts but like i said ips versus amoled but both have emotion ui under the hood whether you love it or hate it emotion ui kills the applications tray gives you these kinds of two page notifications pages things which i'm not the biggest fan of you can pinch out to access your hidden applications um, like so um, and you can pinch in to get an overview of your home screens otherwise it's pretty straightforward and simple you can swap out your themes you have a degree of customization over things like transitions and stuff so it's a bit of fun under the hood, Kirin 935 processor versus uh, Kirin 955 processor. Uh, three gig of RAM versus four gig of RAM. Um, 64 gig memory versus 32 gig memory, although this is available in larger variants as well. And you've got a variant of this which has uh, force touch but you've got force touch across every Huawei P9 Plus. The P9 Plus really is the most premium of the Huawei devices on show today. Um, but I still think the Mate S feels and looks that little bit richer to me personally. Cameras, you've got optical image stabilized cameras across both, but you've got a lot more you can do with a camera on the P9 Plus. For starters, if I swipe up, I've got this pro mode. This enables me to change the aperture, change the ISO, um, change a whole load of things that make for a really, really comprehensive experience for professional and semi-professional, amateur professional photographers. You can also um, control, if I pull that down, um, retrospective blur. So if I was to tap through on that, take a picture with a little bit of depth of field. Let me do one with my P9. Hopefully this will do the job with my Mate S even. There you go. So I can take a look at that cam that picture and I can tap on the aperture and I can retrospectively refocus and it actually seems to be doing a very quick, pretty good job. So now I'm at F16, so everything is in focus. Swipe all the way up to F0.5 and yeah, that <laughs> actually does do a good job. So hats off to Huawei for nailing that. The camera can also shoot in native black and white thanks to the black and white sensor as well. Um, so yeah, anyone trying, keen to try that out, you go for it. Under the hood, it's like I said, uh, Kirin processors, all the connectivity you want, all the memory you could want, expandability across both, no wireless charging on either of the devices. Um, but you've got a more sufficient 3,400 milliamp battery on the P9. If you've got any questions about either of these, fire them in the comments section below. And that was the P9 Plus, by the way, not the P9. Um, I'll do my best to answer. And of course, like the video, click like, like the channel, subscribe. It's how you'll stay on top of everything we do. Thanks for watching BTECT. Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business.